Did you know that Africa and South America were once joined together as one massive landmass? Imagine a time when the Atlantic Ocean didn't exist, and these two continents were part of a colossal supercontinent. Today, we are diving into the fascinating story of how these continents split apart and why they still look so similar. Welcome to Open Atlas, where we explore the world one amazing fact at a time. Have you ever noticed how Africa and South America seem to fit together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle? Well, it's no coincidence. These two continents share striking visual and geographical similarities that hint at a shared history. Today, we are unraveling the mystery of why Africa and South America look the same, despite being separated by the vast Atlantic Ocean. So here's the big question. How is it possible that Africa and South America, separated by thousands of miles of ocean, share such similar geographical features? Look at their coastlines, almost like they were torn apart. And it's not just their shape. The plants, animals, and even some geographical structures found on both continents are incredibly alike. This similarity has puzzled scientists for centuries. What could have caused these two massive land masses, drifting so far apart, to maintain such a close resemblance? The answer lies in a groundbreaking scientific theory, plate tectonics. To understand why Africa and South America look the same, we need to journey back in time, around 200 million years ago to be precise, when Earth looked entirely different from today. Back then, all the continents we know were fused into a single supercontinent called Pangaea. Picture that, one enormous landmass surrounded by a super ocean. But Pangaea didn't last forever. Due to the movement of Earth's tectonic plates, massive slabs of rock that make up the planet's outer shell, Pangaea began to split apart. These tectonic plates float on the semi-fluid layer beneath them, moving slowly but surely over millions of years. As they moved, Pangaea started to break into smaller continents, which drifted to their current positions. Africa and South America were part of a section of Pangaea known as Gondwana. As the plates beneath them shifted, a rift formed between them, and the land masses began to drift apart. This rift eventually became the Atlantic Ocean. But even as they moved away from each other, the coastlines of Africa and South America retained their matching shapes, like puzzle pieces that had been separated but still fit together perfectly. Now, you might be wondering, how do we know all this? What evidence do we have that Africa and South America were once connected? The evidence is everywhere, and it's fascinating. First, there's the geological evidence. When you compare the rock formations on the coasts of Africa and South America, you find an incredible match. For instance, the rocks in Brazil's eastern highlands are almost identical to those found in West Africa. These matching rock formations extend across the Atlantic, indicating that they were once part of the same geological structures before the continents separated. But it's not just the rocks that tell this story. The similarities in flora and fauna between Africa and South America are another clue. Take the fossils of the ancient reptile Mesosaurus, for example. This small freshwater reptile lived about 300 million years ago and has been found in both South America and Southern Africa. Since Mesosaurus was a freshwater creature, it couldn't have crossed the vast Atlantic Ocean. The fact that its fossils are found on both continents suggests that they were once connected, allowing the Mesosaurus to roam freely across what is now two separate continents. Plant fossils also tell a similar story. The fossilized remains of the ancient plant Glossopterus, a seed fern, have been discovered in Africa, South America, and other southern continents. The widespread presence of Glossopterus across these continents, which are now separated by oceans, is strong evidence that they were once part of a single landmass. As the continents drifted apart, the climates of Africa and South America began to change, but their shared history is still evident in their present-day environments. For instance, 
the tropical rainforests of the Amazon in South America and the Congo Basin in Africa are both remnants of the lush, continuous forests that once covered the southern part of Pangaea. Even today, these rainforests share similar species of plants and animals, highlighting their common origin. The most fascinating aspect of this shared history is how it explains not only the physical shape of the continents, but also their similar climates, ecosystems, and even species. The split of Pangaea wasn't just a physical separation, it led to the independent evolution of species on both continents, but with remarkable parallels. This is why you see such similar biodiversity in places like the Amazon and Congo, even though they're continents apart. This shared history also has significant implications for understanding the geological processes that shape our world today. The story of Africa and South America's separation is just one chapter in the ongoing saga of plate tectonics, which continues to reshape our planet. Mountains rise, oceans open, and continents drift, all driven by the relentless movement of Earth's tectonic plates. And while the process is slow, its impact is immense, creating the diverse and dynamic world we live in. So, to wrap things up, the reason Africa and South America look so similar is rooted in their shared past. They were once part of the same supercontinent, Pangaea, and the slow but steady movement of tectonic plates caused them to drift apart. But even as they moved away from each other, they retained many of the same geological features, climates, and even species. It's a powerful reminder of how interconnected our world truly is and how the forces that shaped our planet millions of years ago are still at work today. Thanks for joining us on this journey through time and space. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to Open Atlas for more fascinating explorations of our world. And we'd love to hear your thoughts. What other similarities between continents or regions would you like us to explore next? Drop your ideas in the comments below and we might end up featuring them in our next video. Until next time, keep exploring.